So yeah, my name is Frances Bryant and I work in Harrogate with Lydia. We run um, an early year to music business, we like called Songbirds. Um, and I'm Bryony Harris, I work in primary schools and I've got a little baby group in Patrick um, at the garrison and we got to know each other through doing the CME course um, funded by NAMA. So we learned an awful lot from that, so we're going to share some of it with you today. That's the Certificate of Music Education, if you don't know, in early years which yeah, we can tell you more about another time if you're interested. So, should we get singing? Well, I'm Lydia Buckhorn, as Francis said, I work, we work together um, in the Harrogate area in various early year settings. So, yeah, let's begin. Good, let's start with a hello song, and uh, we got this from Polly, who's sitting over there, so we're just sharing what we've already all known before. So, let's hop on these. Um, quite a simple tune. It's a really good one for extending 
um, to use different actions and you can ask for suggestions from other actions for the children as well. So it's, uh, it's called It's Time to Sing With You, It's Time to Sing With Me. And it goes like this. It's time to sing with you. It's time to sing with me. It's time to sing with everyone. Let's all sing happily. It's time to sing with you. It's time to sing with me. It's time to sing with everyone. Let's all sing happily. And we can wave. We can say it's time to wave with you. It's time to wave with you. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> 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 the teachers, the 
or the faster and slower concept, how else could we extend it? Yeah, so use your solve bar if you've got that bar. So, so, me, do, so, so, me, do, la, la, so, so, me, re, do. Yeah, so you can extend into that. Any other ideas? Rhythms with a T, T, ta. So this one 
and we're going to say, look at me, look at you. So instead of pointing, and then we're going to hide and say, peek boom So it goes like this. Look at me, look at you. Hide your face, peek a Okay. 
take children to do something slowly, <gasps> and they all want to be the because no flowers pop out like that, so they all want to be the slowest one, and they're all just, look at that, it's just wonderful to see the faces of them. Do you have a like free like when you when they get the scars? Do you have a like? Well, what can you do with that before um, you tell sometimes them? Sometimes we do? are led by the children. I think of what they yeah. do do with it, which yeah. some we don't do. So often that's the first thing yeah. on their heads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my instinct. Yeah, yeah my instinct. <laughs> 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 we'll do a lot, lot of that, then we'll end up sort of vocalising it as well. So yeah. it's, and it's like. Whoa! Right, you make a thing of it rather than like, you yeah. know, often you work with teachers, they go, put your sticks on the floor. No, <laughs> show me what you can do with your yes. sticks. Yes. 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 This is what we need to do, I think, though, for the next song, isn't it? Think. 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 To practice your grumpiest face. <laughs> Get it ready under there, and we'll see it in a minute. I've got a grumpy face, a grumpy face, a grumpy face.
musical play. Obviously, we've, been, we've done that before we knew that Zoe was doing a whole thing on musical play. Since we did our course, we've learned so much about the importance, we say, of the children really giving their ideas and being musical beings rather than us always imposing on them. And so I've managed to include it in all of my sessions now that at the beginning of my session it seems to work that I have a non-verbal musical play as people are in. And I've told the parents and now they know that they are not going to talk during that session and we've sort of been working up and they really learn and they really come on. And the difference from when the parents are talking to each other to when they actually focus on their children, they've learned how to do the musical play and they've been interacting with the other children in the group and it's it's just the most heartwarming thing to be part of every week. It's absolutely wonderful. So I would you know, really encourage you to try try it out. I've tried it in reception classes as well and that's worked with different success but it's you've got you sort of got to build up the boundaries and work out right okay there's my there's my structure and I'm gonna have it within that. With receptions we tend to do a bit more showing at the end and um, Maybe have a bit more of a task sometimes as they get into it. Right, you're going to have a task where you're going to take turns. And so they then learn that and they can take it on to their other musical things. But I think it's really important to give them the time to be musical with each other. So do you have instrument work? I mean, yeah, so I do the inst with instrumental with play. Instrument. Yeah, so. Or um, just vocal, not, not just vocally, not vocal sound. No, although if. In my reception class, when we've done it, it's often been towards the end of the session, and if we've been playing songs, say Doggy Doggy or something else, they will often take that and carry on with the singing games, mm. or the scarves, they'll carry on playing with those, or finger puppets or whatever else. So I'll have those as well, but it's the instruments they really want to explore, mm. especially quality instruments. You know, if you've got really nice things, they just, yeah, the, the musical output is brilliant. But it's scary when you first come across it. So yeah, if you've seen some of Zoe's things today or some of the links we've put on, watch some of them and see that musical communication. It's it's a wonderful thing. And the key thing is to let the child initiate it. Mm. So you're then copying what they do and echoing back what they do, and it becomes a musical conversation. But it's on their terms. It's really beautiful. In their way. So if it's a whole reception class, <laughs> <laughs> I've said I've only got fifteen in my reception okay. class. So it's a smaller one. But yeah, we all do it. Yeah, no, 15 is good when you're 30. Mm. Yes, yes, definitely. There is a, <coughs> a noise element, but especially the younger ones, you've got to be very careful with their ears. Um, but it's doable. Yeah. So are you going to demonstrate? Do you mean that, so what, what, can you just explain again what you mean through um, musical play? So, so they're maybe, they're maybe yeah. listening to a classical so, so basically, it's as simple as, at the beginning of my baby session, I, put, I set it up so it's a really nice, you know, some mats on the floor and some instruments out, and the children come in and they play. And then I would usually give a, an instruction to the adults, say, right, today can you really focus on doing things at the same time as them? They have to lead. You're not allowed to do anything before them, because I don't know if you've found in your sessions, parents are the worst for just noise pollution. Do, 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 do. This is how you do it, Johnny. And, and they don't let the child explore. So actually teaching the parents has been a massive so thing. It's a bit like when you copy a child, do the baby yoga. When you're copying their moves. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That scene and out numbers where the older child copies the baby who comes to stay. I think it's from that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's very. I mean, there's, a, there's some really good videos on take art and other things about people mirroring and mimicking and, and maybe turn taking as they develop a bit but it's yeah, it's just worth exploring <coughs> the music you get out of them is, is fascinating i think with the sound connections video online about musical free but like i think that it's called free play um through sort of the sound connections website and i did, did some training with john webb um, with Whitmore hall mm -hmm. um so it, Any other questions on that? Or talk to us afterwards if you're interested. It's something that we we had to do as adults on the CME the charity course, um, which was really fun. One of us had to pretend to be the child, the other one was the adult, and then had to talk over. We 
had identical instruments, but the child might, as the child, you could just do whatever you wanted. It didn't have to be the proper way to play it at all. You do it on your head, or, and it was the other person's responsibility to echo that copy back. And it feels good to well, be what affirmed. What happens when they do something really inappropriate, like standing on a drum and jump, jumping? <laughs> you, 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 there's still rules. You know, there's yeah. still, yeah. still, yeah. still, yeah. still yeah. boundaries. Redirection is enough. Okay, so moving on to our likely songs, um, we've got a few, so we can hopefully yeah, do wonder, a, one three groups. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. Please listen to three. <laughs> three groups. <laughs> probably.